Chinese pod coming to you from Shanghai, China. My name is Ken Carroll. Hi, I'm Jenny. And we have an extra special guest here today. Yes. Hey, I'm John. Hey, John. Why are you here? John, you know why? Because John is the tone master. Yes, he is. John, well, not exactly, but <laughs> I'm joining you guys here today to talk about tones. Actually. Tones. Mm. Tones. Mm. Ooh, scary. The very sound of it, the word tone scares me. John, you have a really interesting idea for this. Tell us about it. Yeah, don't be scared, Ken. I am scared. Don't be scared. Okay. Today's you tone. You shouldn't be daunted. <laughs> like me, I'm a native. I've never been daunted. <laughs> That's ah, why we're doing that this podcast. That That's fair. why we're doing this podcast ah, to okay. share our knowledge. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So today we're going to talk about the first tone. The first tone. Mm. And I've been doing a bit of research about tones, and yeah. the good news is, research shows first tone is the easiest tone. For Yay! First tone is the easiest tone. Mm. Yeah. Hey. So uh, first tone is that high and level tone. Mm. Can you give us an example, Jenny? Xin, xin. Okay, so both high and level, right? Mm. So what we also want to do here is to give a feeling associated with the tone. What do you mean? It's just a sound, right? It doesn't have an inherent feeling. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to attach one on there. Give it okay. personality. The yeah, first tone. exactly. So, so what's the personality here? Hang on, what are you saying? You're saying that each of the tones you could associate with a kind of a personality or a feeling to help you remember it? Right, it's a kind of mnemonic here. Mm. Ah, that's interesting. So first tone is high and even. Mm. So we're going to think of it as like... Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. That wasn't what I was going to say. He's high and... But like, uh, mm. like high up in the clouds, like flying straight high up, oh. okay. like light and mm. floating. Okay. Yes, let's try it. Xing. Xing. I can clearly see that. It works. Yeah, the floating. It floats up there. So that word Jenny's saying is uh, new. Yes. I think the actual stroke itself, when you see it, it actually indicates it. It's not it's mm. flat and straight it's forward. Straight line. Straight yes. forward. So let's hear that again, please, Jenny. Xin. Xin. Now, just to be clear, the word xin actually means what? New. New. Mm. Okay. How about we try some other words? Yeah. First tone. Yeah. Xin. Qing. Okay, so that means light. Mm. As in not heavy. Yes. A as in flying up there in the clouds. And ah. light. Qing. Light. What about gan? Gan. So that's dry. Mm. So imagine a desert and this character is just floating high straight above. Over the Whoa. desert. Yeah. How beautiful. First All right, tone. that's really interesting. So let's hear them one more time. One of the interesting things, I think Clay mentioned earlier, is a, is a little bit like singing. Mm. There's an element of almost, it's kind of slightly unnatural that to me in English, that tone. There's a couple of examples, I think John might have one, but it's, it's almost like singing or something. So let's hear those three words again, please, Jenny. Mm. Xin, qin, gan. Oh, yeah, that helps. Mm. That helps. Yeah, it's kind of like one sustained note. Yes. yes. Right, whether it's Barry Manilow or whoever it is. <laughs> oh, no, Barry please. Manilow on a floating cloud <laughs> over desert. <laughs> All right, so yeah, anyway, it's one sustained note straight. Right? Trust John to ruin a good lesson, my partner. Barry <laughs> Manilow. Hey, Sorry, she brought ahead. it up. <laughs> All right, and then just so that we have this uh, straight, how it's very even, mm. and I don't want to say monotone exactly, but it is one straight tone. Yes. Why don't we hear that in slow motion? So first, let's hear it in regular speed, Jenny. Xin. All right, now let's hear it in s slow down speed. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, John? That was actually your voice. Yeah, what did you do to it? <laughs> Audio manipulation uh, for educational reasons. It's okay. sexy, Jenny, sexy. It's not, but it's educational, so <laughs> I'll live with it. All right, let's go on. Okay. Ching. And now slow down. Okay, and the next one. Gan. And now slow down. Gan. All right, and then the next one. Ta. And now slow down. Ta. Good for you. So we can hear how it stays even. I hadn't really thought about it in those terms. It is the only tone that actually doesn't really change, right? The other no. sort of there's an yeah, element Yeah, the others variation. go a little bit up or down. Yeah, mm. yeah. And so it really, stays. Yeah, it really helps when you see the mark. Yeah. As you all say, it's just yeah. a straight, flat line. Yeah. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chinese Pod Trivia. 
Our first question is, how long will it take you to become an intermediate Chinese speaker using the Chinese Pod app? Is it A, the rest of your life? B, you should already be an intermediate speaker? C, three months? Or D, Chinese Pod has an app? Uh, you should already be in. Ooh, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C, three months. That's right. Head over to ChinesePod.com now to register for your access to over 4,000 lessons. Get the Chinese Pod app now on Google Play or the App Store. Um, you also have pronouns. I mean, uh, give us some examples from pronouns. More sounds. First tone, please, Jenny. Ta. Ta. So that means... Ta. They sound similar. They sound identical, but they are pronounced uh, third person, male, female, and an object. Sure. So let's hear him again, and I'll do the translation just to be clear. Ta. He. Ta. She. Ta. It. How convenient. Uh, so the characters are slightly different for those, mm. but the tone and pronunciation is are exactly identical. the same. Yes. Uh, put the three of them together, please, Jenny, would you? Ta. 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 Wow. She might have said it, he, she. Yeah. Or <laughs> he, it, 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 she. Or he, he, The he. possibilities are <laughs> limited. <laughs> yeah, so what we're doing here, I mean, we're not really focused so much on the meaning today. What mm. we want you to do is to, to just think about the tone, obviously, the fact that it's consistent tone, that it's high, it's kind of airy and floaty, if not even fairy-like. Mm. I think it has musical qualities. Ching, ching, That's right. Fairy. Mm. Yeah, and before we finish, I want to bring something else up. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned before, Ken, that it doesn't feel nice natural to us. Yes. There's one thing I can think of uh, that I might say in English, okay. which would be like a first tone in Mandarin. Okay. So when someone says something that I find really hard to believe, yeah. I might be like, what? Ching. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's hear it again, John. That was a good one. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the first tone in English. Oh, there. that's a great mnemonic. It is. Mm. What? Shall we try to speak, uh, to say an English sentence? Or in, in the first, first tone. tone. Yeah. All right, we're going to sound like robots. Let's do it. How? I don't think you can do it. I can do it. No problem. <laughs> I love it. How about you? That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't realize that robot speak is all first tone. Yeah. Wow. So uh, go out and run. Robot Cop? Yeah. Is that Robot the movie Cop. we did? Robot Cop. <laughs> <laughs> movie Madness several days that's ago. That's a bit yeah. different. Okay. Now, that was interesting. Mm. I never thought about that. All right. So that's first tone. And yes. uh, if you need help with the others, we'll be back. Mm. Yeah. So maybe we could hear some of those tones again as we go out. We had... Uh, Xin. We had Qing and Gan and Ta, Ta, Ta. There you go. Yes. All right. That's the first tone for you. Yes, so we'll be back with some more tones. Indeed. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. See you. As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 0769. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 0769. And you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 0769.